Now, the collection of animals has been on display in Sioux Falls since the mid-80s and has gone through some ups and downs over the years. Our cameras were there for it all. Groundbreaking for the Delbridge Museum was held on May 23, 1983. Carlton Delbridge himself was on hand. The commission, the mayor, park board, everybody has been back of it, I would say 100%. And it makes me very happy and my dream is coming true. The 45 acres set aside for the zoo and museum looked a lot different back then. Construction was completed in 1984 and a ribbon cutting ceremony brought together city leaders at the time. The empty museum would soon be full of stuffed animals. 175 animal mounts of the Henry Brockhouse collection, purchased by Mr. Delbridge, became the focal point. Some had high hopes for the zoo and museum. I think this facility has the possibility of rivaling Mount Rushmore as it develops and becomes known for what this collection truly represents. Mr. Jonas, who is world famous uh, in his taxidermy work, says that this collection is unequaled any place in the world. One by one, the animals took their places, including the elephant, which arrived in pieces and had to be assembled. In 1985, just a year after construction was complete, there were already plans for upgrades. The total cost of the project is one and three quarter million dollars, so the museum is trying to raise the money from private sources. Nearly two decades later, in 2004, the Delbridge Museum hadn't changed much, and the collection was in need of an upgrade. The task force toured the Delbridge Museum and heard about how hard it can be to preserve the animals without the right kind of heating and cooling. At the time, the panda, which had been donated by China, had already been through a slew of repairs. Jaw fell off and teeth fell out, that type of thing. But the taxidermist did a good job putting them back together. But that's the type of thing that can happen. Some of these animals in here won't last probably another 10 years uh, if we don't make some changes fairly soon. Now, the animals in the museum were killed in the 1940s through the 1970s. You can uh, find full coverage on the Delbridge Museum, the test results, and the future of the display on Kelloland.com.